Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Apex Lifeline 30 meter spool. So this is an upgraded version of the previous Lifeline 30 meter spool. This is like the 2.0 version. It's a lightweight aluminum spool, brightly colored, so it's really easy to see and determine. They're all color coded, so depending on the length of the line, they're a different color. It actually has it written on it as well, which is quite nice if you're carrying multiple spools. Um, but yeah, it's had a few upgrades over the previous version let's take a closer look so this is how it arrives uh, in a cardboard sort of sleeve as it were this is um, both a display and a, a sort of fold over protective um, packaging so uh, you get this uh, rubber band that holds it like this and it protects the uh, the spool from bumps and scrapes but if you fold it upwards uh, then it just sort of hangs up in the dive center nicely um, but yeah then you get the spool also comes with a uh, stainless steel double ender uh, yeah let's take a closer look so first off, if we take a look at the uh, the bolt snap, bolt snap, so this is a stainless steel, this is like 11 centimeters long, I think it's just a touch over 11 centimeters. Uh, the action is nice and smooth, this is a good uh, bolt snap. Some of them, the, the piston can be quite raspy and scratchy, uh, this one's very nice, so decent double ender. And then onto the spool itself. So the main body of the spool, much the same as the previous version, it's made out of anodized aluminium, so it's both lightweight and strong. It can take a cylinder falling over it. But what they've done from sort of two or three years of the previous version being around is they've taken notes from divers using it and they've improved areas to uh, to make it a bit more practical. The first one is is around these edges. These are sort of hardened plastic sections. So just around the rim. That used to wear out quite quickly on the uh, on the previous version, so now they've reinforced it. Still has grip, still has these crenellated sections just around the side to give you a bit of grip if you do need to hold onto that spool, even with clunky gloves. The holes cut into the sides, they're just widened as well, so it's a bit easier. You've got a bit more space to be able to thread that line through. Otherwise, mainly cosmetic upgrades. So the spool itself, one really good thing that's gonna help you out when you're diving is these flared sides. So instead of parallel sides that you get on cheaper spools, they flare outwards. So when you're winding things back in, it, it's just a lot easier and a lot harder to miss a, um, a wind. So it just makes your life a little bit easier. And yeah, with the holes being a bit wider, it just makes it easier to be able to thread that, uh, that leader through that hole in the side. The um, the other change is uh, is that you do have a very smooth section around this uh, this middle sort of finger hole. So if you do use a pinch grip, uh, then you do have plenty of smooth sections to be able to grab hold of it, but get a sort of a deep enough grip that you're actually holding on to it. The line itself, so these are two different types of line. You have Eldred and Delrin, uh, no, not Delrin, Dyneema, sorry. Uh, Eldred and Dyneema are, they basically, they choose all, all sorts of different lines and they chose the best one for what they needed. So on the main section of the line, this orange section, this is a flattened tape. So instead of a round line, flat tape just makes it a little bit easier to untangle it if, if it ever does tangle up. And because it's bright orange, it shows up quite contrast against both blues and green waters. So in all waters, it's very easy and defined. So people are gonna see it in the water. Moving down towards the tip, uh, they continue this on. They did this with the previous version. Instead of tying knots, which can lead to weakened section of the line, they actually stitch the um, this loop in the line, which is much stronger. So over time, it's going to continue. You're not going to have any weak points and, uh, and end up losing a DSMB because the knot tore or the line broke. Between the two lines, the main section of the line and this uh, yellow leader, you have a swivel joint. So this swivel just allows it to twist. So if your line is twisted, it can untwist itself when you send up a DSMB. And then the leader itself is made out of a reinforced um, line. It's yellow, so it just makes it a bit easier for you to determine what you're grabbing hold of in the water. And plenty of space inside of that plenty of space to uh, to fit your uh, your spool through that and tie it off onto objects 
even if you've got gloved hands, you've got plenty of space. And because it's reinforced, if you're tying it off, if you're making like jump lines or something, it's just nice and tough. And then right at the tip of the leader, instead of again, just a knot, they've stitched it and they've also had that heat sink tape around it. So you get a nice rigid uh, sort of stick on the end of it. So that's quite useful for if you have it tied in a knot, it sticks out. So when you need to untie that knot, it's nice and easy. And when you need to thread it through the sides, you actually have something to push against. So it's quite easy to, uh, to be able to thread it through the line. <clears throat> or thread the line through it. And that's the Apex Lifeline 30 meter spool. A, a good, strong, reliable spool. 30 meters is a good all rounder kind of a length. Uh, I always tend to dive with at least one 30 meter. It gives you a decent range no matter what you need to, uh, to use it for. And as far as like practicality goes, the line is that much better. It's a real premium line. The, uh, the metals and the materials that they're using, it's really is the, so the higher echelon of finger spools and um, yeah they are tried and tested people and divers have loved them all over the world because they simply work and they're nice tough and resilient you can find more information on our website simplyscuba.com there's going to be a link down in the description below so you can click on that head over to simplyscuba.com check it out and buy it from us thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving <laughs>